What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Stuff. Today we're looking at Tilta's new Mini Follow Focus. Now this is one of the products in Tilta's latest new line of lightweight, affordable solutions for filmmakers using DSLR and mirrorless style cameras. Now with the surge of new consumer cameras being released with larger sensors and higher video qualities, the number of aspiring filmmakers have also risen. And with that, a demand for affordable compact cinematography equipment. Now like I said, the mini follow focus is meant for smaller cameras and with that also smaller lenses. But first let's take a look at what's inside the box. So firstly, the mini follow focus comes in a really cool looking container that you can keep it safely stored in it. Inside you'll see the main follow focus rig with a 0.8mm pitch gear as well as the attachment arm to attach to 50mm rods. Now if your camera doesn't have a rod set up, it comes with a 50mm short rod as well as a rod mount to attach to your cage. It also comes with a universal size lens gear belt for you to use your photographic lens on this rig. And lastly, it comes with two Allen wrenches. So like I said, this mini follow focus was aimed at newer filmmakers or aspiring filmmakers coming into the scene and it's meant to be a very convenient solution. Unlike the Nucleus Nano that I reviewed earlier in the past, although it has many great features but it takes really long to set up. This is a simple and easy solution for anyone who just wants to attach it to your rig and start using it. So the main reason for having a follow focus on your rig is to prevent you from directly touching the camera lens. It also enables you to get a more comfortable way of pulling focus. So this follow focus is relatively lightweight. Tilda has done a great job keeping all the plastic parts onto the wheel and all the structural bits are still in metal. This reduces cost and weight at the same time. So the follow focus attaches to 15mm rods with adjustable arms to adjust the position and the height of your gear depending on the lens size. If you want to know more about the rods and my setup, you can check out the video that I made about my 2019 setup. I'll make a 2020 version soon. So you can use this follow focus on either side of your lenses and the gear can even be detached and adjusted according to the position on your lens. Now this is a feature that even some professional follow focus gears don't offer. The turning of the focus wheel is really smooth and provides just enough resistance for you to get a smooth focus pull. The focus wheel is also compatible with focus cranks and whips but you have to get those separately. So this focus wheel comes with two hard stops. Now this allows you to rack focus accurately from the start point to the end point of your shot. However, when it's not in use, the only thing you can do is loosen it and let it dangle from the bottom. Now this might make a bit of sound and might be picked up from your microphone, so that's something to consider. Now there are ways to take out these hard stops but they are a bit inconvenient and you have to kind of take apart the whole wheel. Now lastly, this follow focus also comes with a removable marking disc which you can use to mark your focus points. So this mini follow focus comes in about 99 US dollars which is about 150 Singapore dollars which is relatively cheap for a follow focus system. Alright, so to sum this whole thing up, I think Tilta is really hitting the right audience with these up and coming filmmakers who want to keep their setup as compact as possible. So introducing these miniature versions of professional gears is a great way to go because we can keep it cheap, affordable and lightweight at the same time. So I really recommend anyone out there looking for a good follow focus system to try out this Tilta mini follow focus system. I'm not being paid to say this, I think it's a great product. Uh, but I want to thank Riseball Photos for lending me this product again. You can go ahead and check it out in their stores, have a feel for it for yourself if you like it. If you guys have any other questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as much as I can. Uh, but that's it for me. Um, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.